My guess is it's because the new year is fast approaching. But for whatever reason, I've been getting more and more questions about what I eat in a day. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to share exactly that. So in the following video, you'll see a very, very typical day of what I eat. I can also tell you right now that for the past four or five years, I've been following a paleo lifestyle. So aside from a few indulgent meals throughout the week, this is predominantly how I eat. Oh, and before I forget, a huge thank you to Epic Provisions for sponsoring this video. My preferred way to start the day is actually with some butter coffee. So I blend together some brewed coffee, grass-fed butter or ghee, some collagen peptides and MCT oil. And as weird as this combination sounds, it's delicious. I love it. I've written an entire article on why I do it on the blog. So I'll link that in the description box if you want to read it for yourself. I actually don't normally wake up with an appetite, but if for whatever reason I'm hungry or doing around a whole 30, I'll skip the butter coffee and make some bacon in an omelet. So that's some sugar-free bacon I'll just fry up. And then I'll make an omelet with the pan drippings. So some mushrooms, zucchini, onions, bell peppers, jalapeno for spice. And I'll saute those veggies around until they're nice and sauteed and set those aside. And then uh, with some grass-fed ghee, I'll make kind of like an omelet crepe. And then this, I'll just add the sauteed veggies back to. And then I'll fold it over and make an omelet. It's much easier to do it this way. And then I'll just tuck it onto a plate, some avocado, and enjoy. So around 7.30, 8 o'clock, I head to the gym. I strongly prefer to work out in the mornings and on an empty stomach if possible. I find that this gives me much better mental clarity throughout the day. My focus is sharper. My mood is better. My energy levels are up. And my workouts usually consist of some sort of interval training circuit. It's high intensity and usually lasts only about 30 to 40 minutes maximum. So I'm in and out of the gym relatively quickly and I get a really great workout. So around 9 a.m. I usually get home. I have a post-workout meal almost immediately as soon as I walk through the door. It's uh, usually a smoothie. Today it's a green smoothie full of healthy fats, fiber. I'll show you how I make it in just a second. Uh, and an Epic Provisions bar. And the reason why I like Epic Provisions bars along with a green smoothie is because I find that this combination of having a bar and a smoothie keeps me feeling full for longer than if I was to just add a scoop of protein to the smoothie itself. So just like my workouts, my smoothie is always different. So today it's a green one with some banana, frozen mango, uh, some almond butter and almond milk, and I just blend it together until it's smooth, creamy, and really delicious. Uh, the reason why I like Epic Provision Bars specifically is for a few reasons. First of all, they taste great. They gotta taste good. Second of all, it's a clean source of protein, so it's great after a workout because it helps replenish energy stores and facilitates recovery. They're made with minimal, healthy, and natural ingredients. Uh, some of the flavors are even paleo and Whole30 compliant if you're doing one of those programs. I also love the fact that they're sourcing humanely raised animals to make these bars. Uh, they're also committed to large-scale grassland restorations, regenerative farming practices. All of these things are very uncommon in a modern-day food world. My personal favorites, uh, in case anybody was wondering or asking, I'm not sure that anybody actually is, but here we go. Uh, venison sea salt and pepper protein bar, I love this one. 100% grass-fed venison, uh, humanely raised, antibiotic hormone free, zero grams of sugar, 12 grams of protein, and it tastes really good. And then, chicken sriracha protein bar. A little bit of spice to it, I like the flavor a lot. Uh, 13 grams of protein, zero grams of sugar, so they're both paleo and Whole30 compliant. Um, Made with 100% natural chicken, no soy, no nitrites, and just as delicious. Really good. Now, maybe the best part of these Epic Provisions bars is the fact that you can just order them on Amazon.com or through the Amazon app and have them delivered right to your doorstep. Not only is it a huge time saver, but you also save money by ordering them through Amazon Subscribe and Save. So you'll save 5% right off the bat and up to 15% when you subscribe and save at least five items. And because I want to spread the love, I'm offering an exclusive 20% off Amazon promo code so you can try some flavors for yourself. But hurry, because the code only works for 30 days after this video goes live or while supplies last. Mm. I don't want to talk with my mouthful, but really good. Uh, the thing I like most about these bars is they're always perfectly seasoned. They're not bland or boring. They got a good spice to them, especially the venison, sea salt, and pepper bar. The texture is really great, and it's not full of junky fillers, uh, so the ingredients are really, really clean. Really good. So around noon, uh, I'll have some lunch. If I have leftovers in the fridge, that's what I'll have. Otherwise, I'll make a big salad with some sort of lean protein. Today, the protein is uh, some chicken breast that I've simply seasoned in salt, 
pepper, and some spicy smoked paprika. Uh, those I will just pan fry in a little bit of avocado oil. I'm using a cast iron skillet here. And I usually cut the chicken breast in half. I butterfly it so it cooks a little bit quicker, usually around three to four minutes per side. Uh, I'll make a very easy salad with whatever I've got in the fridge. Today it's a bunch of leafy greens, um, some red and green peppers that I have from the omelet that I made for breakfast, some sliced cucumbers, some thinly sliced onions. I'm not worried about bad breath because I work from home. Uh, some cherry tomatoes, which add a nice pop of color and sweetness and acidity. And then fresh dill. I love adding fresh herbs to salads. And then to finish some sliced Kalamata olives or really any type of olive or even something pickled. And then to dress it, really simply extra virgin olive oil, balsamic vinegar, some kosher salt and black pepper. And then I'll slice up the chicken breast after it's had a little bit of time to rest on the board. And this just allows the juices to run back through into the meat as opposed to spilling out all over the place. Those go on the salad. And then I'll just pour those pan drippings over top, kind of like an extra dressing. And this is a really easy, fast, light, but filling salad that is great for lunchtime. If for whatever reason I find myself hungry between lunch and dinner, I'll have a snack. I'll also have a cup of coffee, regardless of whether or not I'm hungry, because I love coffee. Today it's an espresso. Sometimes it's just a cup of black coffee. Uh, my snack is very simple. It's some sliced prosciutto or jamón serrano, some olives, uh, and then some roasted almonds. And now if you'll excuse me, I have lots and lots of work to do. Because I develop recipes for a living, dinner is fairly inconsistent. Today, it's chicken stroganoff, which is brand new to the blog. It's Whole30 and Paleo compliant. And it starts off by just seasoning some chicken breast with salt and pepper, and then searing it off in a cast iron skillet with avocado oil until golden brown on each side, about three to four minutes per side. I'll set those aside to a plate, and in the same pan, I'll saute some mushrooms with some ghee and salt, and I'll scrape up any brown bits off the bottom of the pan until the mushrooms are nice and brown. I'll add in some onion or shallot, some garlic, and I'll cook those down until they're soft. And then I'll add in some coconut milk and some Dijon mustard. The important thing here is to reduce the sauce until it's reduced by half. That's gonna mellow out any coconut flavor. Then to reconstitute the sauce, I add some chicken stock and I'll reduce that down. And I'll kill the heat, I'll add some fresh dill, some cracked pepper, a little bit of lemon juice for some twang, and then I'll taste for seasoning and adjust as needed. Spoon the sauce over top of the chicken, and you can serve this with mashed potatoes, uh, baked fries, cauliflower puree, really anything, it's amazing. Once the day is done and we've put our daughter to bed, my wife and I will have a cup of tea together. It's a long time tradition, it helps us mellow out and relax for the night. Uh, and if I'm hungry for whatever reason, I'll have a spoon of almond butter, but I'm not hungry right now, I'm stuffed, I ate a lot today. Uh, and that's it, that concludes what I eat in the day. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace and love.